Hello everyone, my name is Pixelrefs. Welcome back to Terraria. I hope you had a fantastic last couple of days. I had a lovely bit of time with my family and now we're going to get back into the routine. First things first, I encountered whilst I was exploring just off on my own and I've realised that I should probably not explore off on my own off camera because... Let's face it, I keep running into things that are important to the game. Number one thing that is important to the game, a goblin tinkerer. I found a bound goblin out in, I think, somewhere in the Crimson, down one of those caves, when I returned to the place where I died to the brain of Cthulhu. And this guy's name is Dalek, which, to those of you who are fans of Doctor Who, might be a bit of a weird name, but... He says, goblins are surprisingly easy to anger, he says he can reforge some of my weapons if I need him to, so presumably this is the thing that allows you to re, like, recategorize stuff to get, like, better attributes for it. I think that's what I've heard he can do. But also, he sold me a Tinkerer's Workshop for the price of 10 gold, which is kind of a big ask, to be honest. But he has different stuff during the day and during the night. Right now, he has some rocket boots available for 5 gold, so I'm going to dip into my piggy bank. Although, doesn't it say... It says savings over here, so I assume I can just use that money, considering it's in my piggy bank. So now I bought some rocket boots, and they are... Oh, they are brisk! Plus 1% movement speed. Well, maybe we could get a slightly better attribute for those, but I think those might even end up replacing my sandstorm in a bottle because they basically allow me to fly. And I don't think they have any... Oh, okay, right. So it's a very it's a very brief thing, unless the magic carpet is just kind of taking over after a certain point. Yeah, okay, so it's not like magically able to fly. Oh, yep, and it's giving me fall damage as well. So we will keep those in reserve, perhaps, because I think the sandstorm in a bottle is is pretty good and is a little bit more controllable right now. But anyway, I built this house for him, and it's not the best house in the world in terms of Terraria standards because it's only got this one room at the top that I could actually turn into livable space. But I just wanted to design something a little bit fun, work with some of this rich mahogany wood and build with giant gates as well because I didn't even realize those were a thing but those actually make it like a valid house space so that's kind of cool. Next thing we have planned is to head up to this tinkerer's workshop and I've discovered that if you combine the compass, the depth meter and the watch you can get yourself a GPS which is basically all of those things combined into one item which frees up a ton of inventory space down in this corner from all of the stuff I had hanging out and does that have like a little thing on it? It's a guarding GPS, so if I equip it, it would give me extra defense. Now the stuff I have over here is kind of okay for now. I'm going to get rid of the flippers in a second in favor of something else that's going to provide a little bit more protection. Because today, I'm going to have a rematch with the Brain of Cthulhu because that thing did me dirty last time and I have a feeling I can take it this time. I completely forgot to use any of my potions last time. And I have a couple of weapons and some better armor now, so I reckon we're ready to take it on. I don't think the rocket boots will be of great help, considering I have all of this other stuff that helps me maneuver. Let's throw the flippers in here, and do I have anything that would be a little bit better? I've got a full set of meteor armor, which somebody in the comments pointed out basically allows you to use the space gun without it consuming mana, which is incredible. Additional melee speed, don't need that. Increases armor penetration by 5. I don't know if that's really going to be helpful or not. The flurry boots I had were just equipped in there, so they didn't have a great deal of helpful attributes. I also have a quick zombie arm, <laughs> and I got myself a demonic trident. Was that in the last episode? I can't really remember. It's been a little while since I recorded that one, but I'm going to throw this stuff in there for now because I don't think I will end up using it. We'll stick the magic mirror in there. The space gun is probably going to be my weapon of choice for now. And I figured out that the slime the slime guy I can summon is kind of stealing hits from me. Like, if I haven't been able to hit something, it's because it's already being dealt damage by the slime. And it didn't really... Yeah, it didn't really work for me all that well. So I might put him away. I'm not wholly sure if I will need him in this fight. Although, there are a ton of those creeper things flying around... They're flying around the the brain of Cthulhu that will potentially could be taken out by the slime guy. So maybe we'll keep him on us. I'm not sure. 
any t in, like, in the potions department, I think we're okay. Thorns potion might be really helpful, actually, thinking about it. Flipper potion is not going to be super helpful. Let's see. I've got a ton of eggnog still, which I think is going to be better than my lesser healing potions, and I think I'm out of the regular type of healing potions. Gravitation, I still haven't played with that, and I still want to take the teleportation potion and just end up somewhere random. I think that would be really cool. There is one other thing I meant to grab. Oh, yeah, that was it. In the... Is it the important items thing here? I need to find out how many vertebrae I need to craft the thing that's going to help me summon the Brain of Cthulhu, because if Harley is around here somewhere, he does tend to wander off every now and again. Hey, Harley, how are you doing? Let me take a look at this, because I don't know how to craft one of these things yet. And there's mechanical worms. There's all sorts of weird stuff. Bloody spine. I need vicious powder... Where do I get Vicious Powder from? Oh, and there's a Battle Potion. Oh, that, that like, increases spawn rate. Okay. Because I've not seen this Vicious Powder thing anywhere. I don't know where to get it. I assume it's something to do with the Vicious Mushrooms, though. So let me take a look at those, because I've quite a few of those on my travels. I've got 26, which is promising. Now, can I make Vicious Powder from that? I can, okay. And that banishes the Hallow, whatever that is. I don't honestly... No, but I need 20, right? So 20 Vicious Powder, and I'll just take all my vertebrae over there. And we're going to have to go back to one of the demon altars in the snow biome to craft this spine thingy. Yeah, let me explain this a little bit as well, because nobody has really mentioned this in the comments, but I just thought it would be kind of cool to explain this to you guys. I'm building this kind of weird monument thing, and I kind of want to build a few of these. It's just somewhere for me to hang my banners, so that I have somewhere that's got like all of the protective wards against monsters that come at night and yeah I just wanted to build something kind of a little bit different it started off thinking I was thinking it was going to be a statue of some kind but I really like the dynasty shingles now I've had a chance to play around with them they make these really neat like dragon style patterns so I kind of want to do some more stuff with those in future but for now we have this kind of monument statue thing in the in the middle of the place it is still very close to the Christmas time of year, and so you will see a bunch of Christmas bunnies and stuff knocking around. But uh, we will make our way over to uh, the snow biome, and let's let's craft ourselves this this weird spine thing. Welcome back, folks. The Eskimo zombies gave us a nice warm welcome, and we have ourselves a bloody spine. I misplaced the recipe a little bit. I, I misplaced. I kind of... I mistook the recipe slightly. I got myself 20 vicious mushroom powder when it meant to be, uh, I meant it to be 30, so had to go back and get some more, but not to worry. I'm thinking we probably go and fight this guy over in the boss fight arena where we fought the eye. I don't see him having any huge advantages that the eye didn't, so I'll throw the rocket boots in there and the magic mirror in there for now. I don't think we'll really need to make such a big escape. I think plus four damage might be kind of useful. What else did this stuff get me? Spiked climbing claws got me plus two. I won't need to actually climb anywhere. Menacing shackle gives me plus four percent damage. Is there anything else that could be better? I guess maybe a little bit extra defense, but uh, I can... I can manage. I think we can handle ourselves right now. I'll have an iron skin potion as well, which should help. And I might bring an extra potion here and there if I can. I think archery potion is not going to really help us, is it? Calming potion might help. I don't know if that works on bosses. I have a brisk shackle here, which I can throw in there as well. I checked out the phase blade. It's not really any better than my regular blood butcherer sword right now, but it's kind of cool. I think this just has like slightly better damage and knockback because of the buffs it's got. So maybe we could reforge that and be like a slightly better phase blade. I'm just going to keep it handy for now because it seems kind of cool. Same with the candy cane pickaxe. It's just got slightly better damage than my gold pickaxe, but my gold pickaxe is large. I don't know. I'm not sure quite how that improves things, but maybe it's just in terms of the size. Let me throw the vertebrae back in there in case we need those later. And we can wander out to the arena, and I assume I don't have to fight the brain of Cthulhu at night the same way you do with the eye. I think it's just a standard kind of... standard kind of deal. So, let's give this a try, shall we? 
Uh, can I can I use it? Summon the brain. Do I have to do that in the crimson? Maybe I have to do it in the crimson. And maybe that's why it didn't teleport to my house when I died that one time. Interesting. All right. Let's test this theory, shall we? Okay, folks. Here we go. Let's do this. There it is. And buff. Let's take them on. Oh, and there's lots of them. And every time they take damage, they cluster back around the brain. And I think we have to take out these guys before we can do any damage, because he was not taking any hits when I saw him last time. They're all dropping Crimtain ore as well, which is awesome. I could do with some more of that. Although this Meteor stuff is doing pretty well, as far as I can tell. Every time I jump high enough, it takes me out of the Crimson Biome, which is a little bit odd, but... Luckily, we are close enough that we can summon the brain. There's only one of those creepers left now, and the brain itself is actually doing a little bit of damage to me, which is worrying. Whoa, okay, and now this thing has teeth as well. Attack the heart. It's got a heart with an eye. That's weird, man. But this space gun is absolutely brilliant and is apparently knocking him back enough that I can get around him. Fine skin potion, don't fail me now. Ah, nearly done, nearly done. Take him out, come on. Yes, there we go, mastermind. I am the mastermind. A bit more crimtain ore for us as well. These tissue samples, that's something I've seen before. Now, where did I see that? I think that's in another crafting recipe for something, but hey, never mind. We've defeated the Brain of Cthulhu. Rematch complete. Thank you very much for that. And yeah, I think the calming thing may have helped a little bit there. I don't know, but not to worry. It seemed like it all did the job. I'm going to keep this arena here, I think, as like a little monument to our success. 41 tissue samples. All good. All good. Right, let's head home and see what else we can do. Hi, Harley. How are you doing? What do I do with these tissue samples? That was it. It was the crimson set of armor. And is that better than my current set? I think it is, you know. I need some crimtain bars. I need... Oh, Deathbringer pickaxe as well. Is that better? Than... That's definitely... <laughs> definitely better than the one I've got. Able to mine Hellstone. What the heck is Hellstone? Flesh grinder... The meatball. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Right, okay. I reckon we need to smelt up some of this crimtain ore and make ourselves a new set of weapons and stuff then. Down to the basement we go. And let's get some more crimtain bars. Oh, we can make some stuff with the shade wood I gathered still. That's kind of neat. I already have a fair amount of crimtain hanging around, but I don't think I need it for anything else. Is that like a kind of flail sort of thing? I guess it must be. This flesh grinder, what kind of... Doesn't? It's not really going to tell me what kind of weapon it is. It looks kind of like a... Oh, it's a hammer. It says hammer power. There we go. That makes sense. We need this pickaxe for a start. Deathbringer pickaxe, welcome to the family. And I can probably get rid of that candy cane one, to be honest. And then these... Crimson plus 2% two inc two increased damage. That's cool. And obviously that's going to make the space gun a little bit redundant, but maybe we will find some more tools we can use. So, let's get ourselves a crimson helmet, and now, of course, we need to make a little bit more of the bars, because it's not letting us make the rest of the armor. What else have we got? Crimson scale mail. That looks pretty good. A bit more crimtain, and is that as much as we can have for now? I will have to grab some out of storage then. Uh, metals. It's going to be in the metals chest up here. Let's grab that. And I've only got a little bit of that left, so we might have to go and farm some stuff, you know? In fact, I don't have enough tissue samples either, it seems like. Yeah, I can't make that last that last set of boots. Okay, alright. Well, it looks like I'll probably have to go and 
fight the brain of Cthulhu again. <laughs> so, so another rematch. But obviously I can take him on now. It's not going to be that much of an issue. So that's going to be it for today's episode. I think we will probably call it there. Thank you very much for watching, folks. And I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. Hope you're all looking forward to the new year. I'm looking forward to doing a bunch of cool stuff coming on up. Got a couple of other games planned. Got a couple of smaller videos. Not necessarily like you know, full-length series or anything, just a couple of showcase videos here and there that I'm kind of excited about. But for now, we will call it a day from here in Terraria. My name has been Pixel Riffs. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.